um, you feeling a little bit down today? Looking for some friendships? Yeah. What's going on? Um, I lost my friends. Um, I've been really stressed. I feel kind of lost and kind of alone. And I don't know what I'm going to do this year because my friends left. And I don't really have anybody else. And I get bullied a lot. And sometimes I feel like everybody would be better off like without me. So where did your friends go? Oh, um, me and my, um, okay, so we was at this ball game, and she came with her sister, and her sister was in the band, and uh, we was, like, walking around the track, and um, she walked off, so I thought she left, because the band left, but she didn't, and she thought that I got mad at her, and a few other things that happened, and, um, so yeah. And then when she left, my other friend left. And now, um, the one that I have left, she's moving. So I'm never going to see her again. So I don't know. You know, um, I, I struggled with acceptance for a long time. That's why it says actually belong on my shirt. Since I was like 12. Like I had groups of friends, but I, I felt like you know, when they would throw parties or whatever, often I'd be left behind. Yeah. Um, so I know the feeling of loneliness. It's real. Uh, so from your, from your two friends, the one from the baseball game and the one that's moving out, which of them makes you feel like you belong, if they do? Um, well, they both did, but they, um... When I went to high school, they started to like change and it started to get like really different. And I always heard that like I was gonna lose friends and stuff, but we was friends all through um, middle school. Yeah, middle school. And so she like helped me through a lot. And then she like left and I started like struggling a lot because everything that like she was helping me out with, it just like, Everyone. And when she was helping you out, what? Sorry? Like, she was helping me and stuff, and I felt like I was okay. And then, like, everything was kind of like, I could control, like, how I felt and stuff. And then she left, and I feel like everything just, like, got really, really bad. And... Yeah. This is the friend from the baseball game with the sister, or this is the friend that's... The, yeah. This is the friend from the baseball game. Yeah. Do we still love this person or no? Um, she told me she was sorry about everything, but I couldn't text her back because my phone wouldn't let me text her on what she texted me on. So I can't get a hold of her, but I text her like every holiday, but she doesn't have the same number. Yeah. Let me, let's just start with this. How did she make you feel like you belong? <sighs> We were really close. Um, she, like, so we started being friends because we was in gym and, um, like, we was having partners and stuff, and I was kind of by myself because nobody would pick me, and then she just, like, came out of nowhere and picked me, and then uh, we started being, like, really close. But, yeah, I guess that kind of. For a while? Did she continue doing that for a while? Mm -hmm. That's a really special feeling. Yeah. So here's the thing: does she know? Does she know fully what you're going through now? How much you miss her, and and just how much it hurts? Um, she texted me and she was telling me about how like it wasn't like what happened wasn't my fault, and she was like saying sorry and that she was going through a little bit, but she never said anything about it. But, um, like, if she ever wanted to be friends again, then I was there. But, um, recently, uh, it says that she changed her number. So, I still text her, but she's not saying that. So, yeah. I, what? Sorry, go ahead. You? I text my other friend, and mm -hmm. I text my other friend, 
because she left because of the drama. She thought like she didn't understand what was going on and she didn't want to be dragged into it. So um, I texted her two days ago and she was talking about like she said that she just didn't understand and um, that she wishes that everything was back to normal that she like missed us and stuff but um, I just really hope I can fix it like when school starts back but I don't know. Do you, do you still want both of them in your life or do you want one of them in your life? I still want both of them. It's just, I don't know how I'm going to, like, fix it. Are you ready for this? I don't know. I, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you get back to normal. Okay. So here's the thing. What you're doing with me, which is so brave and beautiful, and you're not even realizing how brave and beautiful it is, is what they need. When, when, you, when, when we worry, I worry, uh, when we feel anxiety, because I get anxiety, right? Like The first thing to deal with worry and anxiety is never worry alone. Because everybody's worried. Alone. Your friends are worried alone. They are. About their own life, about the situation, about the friendship, about all of this. And the hardest thing to do Vulnerability. Have you heard of that word? I think so. Vulnerability is going to your friend and saying you need them. Vulnerability is coming on Omigo and saying, I'm really not having a hard day right now and I don't know what to do. I'm having a hard day or week or life and I don't know what to do. I could really use someone to lean on. Vulnerability can also be, hey, you're being a bit of an ass right now. I love you. What's going on? Vulnerability is whatever you're feeling to not hide that and show that to the people you care about and strangers too. Okay. And so this is what, what you just demoed for me. You demoed your strength as much as you feel weak and that's reality. You didn't have to go on Omigo. You didn't have to tell me any of these things. Am I right? Or am I wrong? You're right. <laughs> and in the process, you get a hug right there. <laughs> And this is the thing, they need this more, more than you realize. So what I want to tell you, and this is the beautiful part, you're such an angel. It's hard. It's hard. And when you let yourself isolate yourself, you lose perspective on your friendships, you lose touch and globalize the world is bad, and you feel like the world doesn't need you. I believe because of the pain I went through, the world needs me more because I can offer it. I'm offering it to you right now. The belonging, I need it so bad. And what you're going through right now and the courage it took to just to tell me is the gift you're going to give to other kids, to other people who are just feeling like you are now. And that's the hope. I'm a strong believer that purpose comes from pain. And if you want to reignite that, the hardest thing which you did for me is the thing that they need most. Messaging them both and be like, I really feel like we're disconnected and I feel like there's nothing I can do, but I miss you so much and I love you. And if it with your friend, if the chain number change, text messages don't work, send a video message. Send the energy and vulnerability. Send it to that other friend, the one that's talking to you, the one that's feeling like she doesn't belong. Like she doesn't belong because she's like, I don't know how to fix this. I'm going to step back. And that's her way. You fight for it, she steps back. But when she writes to you, she's still fighting in her own way. This is the beautiful part. So I think in you lies something incredibly kind and warm. And it's hard because you also feel so much, right? You feel a lot. You feel a lot. You take on a lot of responsibility. You feel like you're the cause of this dismay. And this is the beautiful part that you just told me, that you just got to, in your own way, share with them. It's that what my friend did. He said, I have these thoughts. I can't control them. But I need your help with this. And that literally shaped up to who I am now. And he's in my life. I got to hang out with him on Saturday. 
And we were joking around like we're 12 years old again and being just idiots. Here's the thing. I've also learned that there's a ton of people in my middle school and high school that didn't match my values and didn't make me feel like I belong. And they are there just in the crossroad to teach you a lesson and then they go separate ways like you do. And that's okay. But if these people are the type that make you feel like you belong, then the gift you can give them is to show up and say, this is how much you mean to me. And how can I help you feel like you belong? And it's all just going to be love and cake and hugs, even if they're on the other side of the world. Because I'm in Canada. You're in the States? Where are you? What country? North Carolina. North Carolina. Perfect. So we're on other sides of the world, but I just made you feel like you're accepted, right? This is the part that's beautiful about you. And just keep, keep expressing and talking about it. It's the, hey, you might be on the other side of the world. And I love you. Insecure, showing up. Strong, showing up. Vulnerable, right? And you showed up. Give me a high five for that, girl. Yeah. Yeah. You're not alone. You're not alone. So which of the two do you feel like you can send a message to? And not just a message, are you okay? But really show up as where you are now. Um... Who do you want to send it to? Christina. Boom! We love Christina. We love Christina. Okay, is she the one with the change the number or she's the other one? Uh, she's the other one. The other one. So she's Christina. Awesome. So we love Christina. What? Does she have Instagram, TikTok, Facebook? What, what does she have? She has Instagram. Perfect. Why don't you pick your phone out like you did with me and send her a 30 second thing and be like, Christina, you weirdo. I love you. In your own words, whatever, but say, but hey, you know what? I was talking to this weird guy from the Canada, super nice. And he just reminded me that um, you don't know, you don't fully know how much you mean to me. And I miss you. Like you, you leaving and it's, and it's, and it's, it, it's, it's crushing me, but I love you so much. And that's why it's hurting. And I just want to say, I'm so grateful that we're still in touch. Okay. Like she'll come back to be like, oh my God, girlfriend. <laughs> and you know what? She'll feel like she belongs in your life. Real strength is coming like my best friend did at 12 years old and be like, I really need you right now. Because I can't lift this on my own. And that's beautiful. That's what love and friendship and family is. That's you being left out. And her recognizing, now you get to take the responsibility and saying, hey, nobody picked me. Let's go chill. It's asking for the love and feel like you deserve it because you do. And they feel happy. When your friend came up to you and said, I want you, you're like, me? You? Me? You? She felt great about herself, no? That's the thing. When you do something nice for someone, don't you feel good? And you feel more love, right? Let them have a chance, okay? How are you feeling? Better. Good. And now comes the work. Go, go tell Christina how much she means to you and um, how much you're starving for her and all of that. All you'll get is love back and she'll feel love. Okay? Have a great day, okay? You too. Bye. Bye.